All right, guys, let's break down this Chelsea versus West Ham United game. London derby. Finished 3-2 to West Ham. Pulled off the upset. Check this out and tell me the Premier League is not rigged by the numbers. Thiago Silva and Manuel Lanzini both score on a day where their birthdays are exactly 73 days apart from today's game. Thiago Silva opened the scoring 73 days after his birthday. Fellow South American Manuel Lanzini equalised 73 days before his upcoming birthday. If we look at the game here, you'll see Thiago Silva open the scoring and then Lanzini equalised. Chelsea took the lead through Mason Mount. Neil in my community shared a decode for Mount to score and a lot of people in my community won on it. Mason Mount. Another goal after 44 minutes. And Mount, guys, he scored 10 months and 24 days after his recent birthday, like 1-2-4. And he does it on a date that can be written, 12-4. December the 4th. All by the numbers. Neil Baker's the guy here. Yesterday, he put a code for Mount to score. Mount scores. Gerard Bowen equalised, guys, to make the game... 2-2, two, two. and of course he scores after 56 minutes. But Bowen makes the score 2-2, two, two. and he does it two weeks and two days before his upcoming birthday. Look how Society of Jesus gets you 56, like how he equalised after 56 minutes, and Society of Jesus gets you 79. 79 is the 22nd prime. He makes the score 2-2, two, two, two weeks and two days before his upcoming birthday. Mason Mount scored his 27th top flight goal on a day leaving 27 days left in the year. Kai Havertz gets injured exactly 27 weeks before his upcoming birthday on a day leaving 27 days left in the year. Arthur Masuku got the winner 27 days after his birthday on a day leaving 27 days left in the year. And West Ham go to 27 points on a day, leaving 27 days left in the year. This game was just a ritual, guys. Ritual gets you 27. The league's a joke. I will continue to expose it. Of course, we have another game that ends 3-2. We just had the United Arsenal game finishing 3-2 because there's 32 rays on the Society of Jesus' logo. There's going to be so many Society of Jesus rituals this month because Pope Francis was born in December on the 17th of December. And Chelsea and West Ham's previous meeting was 32 weeks ago, as Neil said here, so I added it to the code. And now I would like to discuss Origi, this guy, who always seems to score last minute winning goals for Liverpool because it's all rigged. So on Twitter here it says, Divock Origi has just told one interviewer that Jurgen Klopp simply told him to go out and be Divock before sending him on at Molyneux. Job done, I'd say. So of course they have to put in quotation marks, go out and be Divock. Go out and be Divock gets you 69 and 84, as you can see here. Go out and be Divock. And the Jesuit order gets you 69 and 84, the same ciphers. Go out and be Divock. So Origi, guys, he wears number 27 for Liverpool. He wears the number 27 jersey. And he scores this winning goal on a day, leaving 27 days left in the year. Origi, guys, was born on 27 date numerology, April the 18th, 95. Four plus one plus eight plus nine plus five gets you 27. His recent birthday was on 27 date numerology. Four plus 18 plus two plus zero plus two plus one gets you 27. Ritual 27. Neil thinks this winning goal indicates Liverpool may win the league. Divock Origi 68, championship 68. He came on in the 68th minute. Manny Martian, great, great coder, great, great guy. Great work. It was Wolves' 11th defeat in a row versus Liverpool. Just know 
that Pope gets you 11. There's a reason why football's a game of 11 versus 11. It's a joke, guys. Pope 56, Bowen makes the game 2-2 after 56 minutes. I've said I'm going to just work as hard as I can to reveal how rigged it all is because I am waking up lots of people, maybe thousands at this point, through my hard work and dedication to this. And I won't stop because it's getting clearer and my community is getting stronger. People like Neil, Manny Martian, Tucko, Rowan, loads of other people who just add amazing comments to my posts. People on YouTube leaving amazing comments and I'll share their comments because we're a team. I know there's still people in the comment section saying that I'm talking nonsense and I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, you're in denial. Do you remember Origi's last minute goal against Everton? Against Mason Jordan Pickford, who's an awful goalie, yet he still starts for England all the time. Remember when he couldn't even get into Everton, but he was starting for England? It's just a joke. It really is a joke. Had to be a penalty for Lanzini. Like pretty much every game seems to have a penalty these days. Um, and if we look here with Liverpool, look how they have to have the image of him pointing up to the sky, which is all about the sacrifices he's made. I've, t I've done a video about this. And then you have to have Trent here, Alexander-Arnold. They have to have 66 here. It's just a joke. Oh, it looks like we have another 3-2 here. Bayern and Dortmund. I don't know if it's going to finish that way. But another 3-2. Another 44th minute goal. And what, is it going to be Lewandowski again, the hero? And a penalty. How hilarious is this? I've discussed 44, how many goals are in the 44th minute, how many penalties they are, and then this happens. And I discussed the three twos. It's just at this point, it's an absolute joke. It's a joke. How long's left in this game? Oh, it's done. 3 1 Man City. So a lot of people are going to think Man City win the league. I don't think it's them. I think it's Chelsea. Or it's possibly Liverpool with all the sacrifices. But I'm not sure. Newcastle finally win a game. What, a 98th minute strike? Didn't he recently do this against Palace? Didn't he recently score like a 97th minute equaliser against Crystal Palace? The same player. I'm just checking this now. 1-1. One, one. 98th minute. They don't score a goal in 97 minutes, but they score in the 98th. Southampton opened the scoring after 29 minutes. Seagulls went down to 10 men. 29 is the 10th prime. So Brighton were playing with 10 men. Oh, because they got an injury. Trossard. It's a real joke, isn't it, guys, this league? These reactions are just so fake when you see through it. How Mopey turned from villain to hero again. It's all stories. It's just stories. It's just stories. And it's, it's embarrassing, guys. It's embarrassing. So, again... Cheers to everyone in my community. Let's keep bringing these people down. If you want to join this community, guys, you should check it out. Check it out in December. There's so many games that are going to go on in the Premier League in December. They want to keep you at home on your ass, eating your chocolate, drinking your beer. That's what they want around Christmas. Putting your bets on, your accumulators. Anyways, cheers, guys. The Premier League's a joke, and I'm going to keep exposing it.